Now I'd like to show you how you can set an attribute of your webcam with the property node. We'll take a look at using NIMAX to determine the available attributes and then specify the attribute with the double colon syntax. For this demonstration, I have my webcam attached to the USB port on my Rio. For this illustration, I have a simple real-time acquisition loop set up. Here's the initialization code. I have my main loop com containing iMac DX grab. And then the shutdown closes the connection to the webcam and then frees up the image space that was allocated by iMac create. Here I'm going to add some code to adjust the color saturation property or attribute of the webcam. Look under vision and motion. And under NI iMac, you see property node. You can also find this under NI iMac DX. And you can also find this under application control. It's all the same thing. I'm going to put this property node inside the while loop so we can adjust the property dynamically. I'm going to attach that session to the property node and then embed that through so the reference out from the property node continues on its way. At this point, I can look under camera attributes and I'll need to select two. One is active attributes. This is a string. Change that to right. Then I'm going to pull down to expose another property and look under, again, camera attributes. Look under value. And I happen to know that this attribute expects an integer. That's why I'm picking value u32. Also change that to right. Now active attribute is a string. This is an integer. Let's come back to nimax and figure out how I knew that. Open up remote systems, your nimyreo. Look under devices and interfaces. When you have a camera attached, you'll see iMac DX devices, and then you can select your particular webcam. Look under camera attributes. And in particular, for this example, I'll be looking at modifying saturation. The mode has only one option available. It's just manual. Value presently set to 64 has a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 255. And this adjusts the color saturation value. Now you form a string back in your LabVIEW VI by following this order, camera attributes, saturation value, and then use the double colon as delimiters between those three terms. Let's come back to the VI and continue inserting that string. I'll begin by creating a string constant, so create constant. Again, the attribute string was formed by looking inside nimax. Here I've also created a front panel control. Let me replace this with a pointer slide. Horizontal pointer slide will work nicely. The upper limit was 255, the lower limit was zero. Stretch this out a bit. I think we're ready to give this a try. Let me start running the VI again. Try adjusting the saturation value. As it increases, you start to see the color in the background coming back. Saturation zero means you get a gray level image. 255, this is where we've kind of maxed out the color saturation. Just a reminder again that back inside NI Max, these available attributes depend on your specific webcam. So plug in your webcam, take a look at NI Max, and find out what you can adjust.